Hello beautiful, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bettina and I'm the makeup enthusiast. In today's video, I am bringing you a mammoth empties. I have two baskets of empties here. These are my empties from January. So this is the first quarter of empties. I probably shouldn't have left it this long <laughs> to film this video because there's so many products to go through. So this is going to be a very long empties video. But if you want to hear some reviews and mini roundups of all of these products, then stay tuned. But before we get into that, then if you are new around here, I hope you'll consider subscribing down below if you want to keep up to date on uh, project empties, any of my other beauty related content and any project panning videos, then I hope you'll consider subscribing down below. And without further ado, let's jump on into it. I'm going to start off with the two giant ones on the top. So these are both glass house candles. I do believe that these are my last ones that I had kicking around. So this one here is Electric Love. So this is the Ruby Pomelo Spritz one. And I really love the little glass container on this one. I am going to get all of the wax out and keep this glass jar. And then this one here I have is Spellbound. This one is Enchanted Embers. And this was one of the ones that they released a couple of years ago for Halloween. I really liked the smell of both of these. This um, in Electric Love one was actually quite strong. And these are both in the old uh, formula, not the new Soy Wax formulas. I actually haven't purchased any candles from Hourglass, from Hourglass. I actually haven't purchased any candles from Glass House since they switched formulas. Um, I just haven't heard very good reviews so far since they switched formulas. So I am going to hang back for a little bit while a little bit longer. Since using these ones up, I have purchased a couple of other different brands of candles and I am, you know, basically trying to decide on which kind of candle brand I move on to next. So far, Diptyque's winning and I hate myself for saying that. I hate myself for saying that, but I purchased one of the trio packs from Diptyque for Christmas and I am loving them. They are such good candles um, and they're actually lasting me quite a long time. These ones always lasted me forever as well because I would just burn them until they got to the edge and then I would blow the candle out. A lot of the times, even with this old formula from Glasshouse, when they weren't being burnt, they were still like scenting a room. Another candle that I used up is this one here from Psychic Sisters. This is the affirmation candle. My husband brought me a few things from Beauty Bay for Christmas and he kind of went rogue on the website, I think to make the free shipping and he did throw a few candles uh, from Psychic Sisters in the cart. They're all right, they're like okay candles. I probably wouldn't purchase them again, but it was nice to try them in this little scent. I do have another one that I am working through at the moment as well. So this one's affirmation and it says protection. It is sage, chamomile and sandalwood. And you can smell the sandalwood quite strongly on that one. Now, I think that's all of the candles. The next one is the large size. This is the value size of the Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water. I buy these big 700 ml bottles when they're on sale normally. I think there are about Somewhere between, I think, $7 and $10 for these big ones when they are on sale. I pick these up because um, I keep it in my car for when I go to the gym or when I go to Pilates class after work. I use this with my reusable cotton rounds. I take some in a pouch with me to work. I take my makeup off because I cannot stand working out or sweating with makeup on. I think it's really gross. Just for me personally, I don't enjoy it. I don't enjoy like streaks of foundation running down my face mixed with sweat and then you try and wipe your sweat off your face and it's just like foundation. It's just your face on the towel. It's gross. It's really gross. I don't like it. And I, I have recently discovered that I am a crazy sweater. Even on days when I'm not like doing as high intensity exercises, I still sweat like an absolute pig. So I cannot exercise with makeup on. I need to take it off and I need to get it off my face. Otherwise I'm going to look like a hot mess. And like I said, I sweat like absolutely crazy when, 
up when I work out. Uh, it, I, I'm, I'm not an attractive person when I work out. Next, I have a little sample here of the Fresh Therapies Natural Nail Polish Removal Wipe. This was actually quite a good product. I only had one single use in this package. Uh, but it actually did a really good job at removing my makeup. It was quite a large towel as well. So I was able to, I think I was able to basically do my fingers and toes. Uh, and I think if you were uh, trying to remove like a more natural color or like a pale pink or something like that, like a nude, you would be able to get a lot more use out of this. Like it would go a lot further. Whereas I was trying, I think when I used this, I was trying to take like glitter off my fingernails. So it did a good job, but it just would have gone further if I didn't have such like bright, thick nail polish on. But yeah, they, they are good. I probably wouldn't pick them up because I personally just prefer to buy a bottle of acetone or nail polish remover and just use it that way. But I think if you were going away, um, this is a nice little way to uh, remove your nails your nail polish if you're wanting to redo them while you're away. I have a sample of the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation in neutral. I thought I got two colors in this, but I must have only got one. I use this sample up completely. Uh, you can get these little samples from Mecca. If For those of you that don't know, if you go in person to Mecca, even I think if you order online, but you have to order through one of the stores um, when they have like the... It's like a virtual shopping experience. I think you can book it online with certain stores. Uh, you can get samples made up. So if there is a particular product that you want, uh, when you go in store or when you do like the virtual shopping experience, uh, you can specifically request them to make samples up. And lately I have been taking full advantage of this. So any new foundations that come out that I've been wanting to try or any old foundations that I haven't tried yet, I have been getting samples. I picked up this one, the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin. I, I liked it, but it didn't blow my socks off. So I wouldn't pick this one up in the full size. Ultraviolet Clean Screen Weightless Mineral Sunscreen. This is from my favorite sunscreen brand. I am at the moment working my way through um, some Mecca. I have the Mecca to save face in the, the full size and I also have it in a deluxe sample size. So I'm currently working my way through them. When I finish those ones up, I am going to go back to the ultraviolet. I probably will pick up the, I think it's called the lean screen, which is like the mattifying sunscreen. <laughs> I'll probably pick that one up, but I have tried, I think I've tried every one in the range except the lean screen, which I think has the purple lid. Um, other than that, I've tried every other one in the range. Way Wave Spray, this was all right, but I just, I like the scent of this one, but I just found that it wasn't really for my hair. I just didn't love how this felt in my hair. And I always found that I had to be quite careful with this product so as to not apply too much. Otherwise my hair did get quite sticky. If I was to purchase it again, I would definitely just buy the smaller bottle. This is my markings, my tracking on how long it took me to use this one up. Uh, it took me like an entire year to try and pan that one. So I definitely, if I was going to pick it up again, I'd only get the mini, but I I don't, I don't need it. I definitely don't need it. Then we have the Living Proof Instant Defrizzer. This is a dry conditioning spray. And again, I don't think I would purchase this again. If I was to, I would purchase it in the small size again, because this one took me forever to get through. But again, I did find that this kind of weighed my hair down. The whole idea of this one is to provide like a bit of a conditioning spray in a lighter version to your hair. But I just found it didn't really do anything for my frizz. I, I found that it didn't help it. It didn't reduce it. Uh, and when I did like spray it on the top, I just felt like I got oily roots really quickly. So I myself find that I get the bulk of my frizz at the top. The ends I find really quite easy to manage because you know, you can easily put some form of like oil or something through the ends and it not weigh it down. Whereas the, um, the top I find is the most difficult place for me to manage my frizz because I get oily roots really easily. So I wouldn't pick that one up. I just felt like it 
made me look really oily. Then I have the Mary Kay oil mattifier. You can't get Mary Kay in Australia anymore. And even if I could, I wouldn't pick this one up. I just felt like it didn't really do anything in terms of oil mattifying. Trilogy Body Care. This is the Pure Plant Body Oil. I actually really liked this body oil. It soaked into the skin really well. It was really nice and nourishing. I was actually using this with my Isle of Paradise tanning drops. So I would pump like, I think I would pump like three pumps of this into my hands. Put, I think I was using by the, by the end of this, like eight tanning drops because I only have the light version. I would put that in my hand, mix it together and do like from my ankle to knee. And then I'd do the same again, other side. And then I'd do my knees to thigh like my thighs um so yeah i liked using this in conjunction with my tanning drops and even when i just needed like some moisture on my legs it was really nice for that the model co instant hydro glow miracle mask it's a single use i can't really tell you this is the grafter lash lip mask this was terrible innisfree super volcanic pore clay mask uh i think i got I think I only got one use out of this and it was it was an all right clay mask. I probably wouldn't go out of my way to pick it up, but it was nice to give it a try. This is the Hideaway Skincare or Hideaway uh, Black Sugar Whipped Soap. I love the whipped soaps from Hideaway. They're like a solid kind of soap type product. I always grab my, um, my loofah my loo yes my loo <laughs> I always pronounce it wrong my loofah in the shower and I like swell it around in there for a little bit until it suds up a bit and then I'm good to go one of these normally lasts me like two to three months like I get a pretty good um length of time out of them uh glow recipe papaya sorbet enzyme cleansing balm I got this from one of my friends because she found that it was not working at all for her skin so I said Oh gosh, it smells, it smells rank now. <laughs> it smells like it's gone. Don't smell the jar after you finish with it. Um, but I said that I would love to give it a try because I was thinking about buying this. I mean, this was nice, but I just felt like it removed my makeup really weirdly. Like it kind of came off in almost like webs and I didn't enjoy how it removed my makeup and I felt like it left a bit of a residue behind on my skin as opposed to my cleansing oil that I use. I use the Shu Urama uh, Ultimate Cleansing Oil. Uh, I love that stuff. I live and breathe that stuff. Uh, so it's always very hard I find to find a rival to that cleansing oil because I just find it so effective. It removes my makeup and it doesn't leave a residue behind. And this, I just felt like my skin was like a little bit like slippy after and I don't, I don't enjoy that at all. A couple of nail polish products that I have in here. The first one is a product that I am decluttering. This is the Jamberry Smoothing Base Coat. I find this nail polish base coat absolutely destroys my nails when I use it. I just find that it really dries out my nails and after like, applying this to my nails and then removing the nail polish like a week or so later my nails are just absolutely destroyed dry brittle starting to flake again and not about that just not about that like we literally just brought some uh treatment products to stop that from happening so i'm trying to avoid making it happen. Then I have two nail polish products that I have recently used up. The first one is the nail polish in Bobbing for Baubles. And then I also have the Cocktail Bling. These are both in the mini size and I did use these ones up. I think the Bobbing for Baubles I used up early January maybe. And then the Cocktail Bling I used up um, mid-February, I think, or end of February. Uh, so I used up another two mini nail polishes. I do find that when I am able to focus on these and dedicate solid time and reapply, I can get through these minis quite quickly. Um, and I do actually quite enjoy the Essie nail polish formula. I probably wouldn't pick these ones up again. 
just because I have so many nail polishes in my collection and I'm really trying to condense the collection down a little bit. A more Pacific Vintage Single Extract Essence. This little sample that was a 15 mil sample lasted me a very long time, but I would not purchase this because I know a more Pacific is insanely expensive and I just cannot justify those prices for a uh, essence product. It's just not something that I really feel like I need in my routine. By Terry Hyaluronic Global Face Cream. I think I only got like two uses out of this, so I can't really comment on my total thoughts on it. It's the Replica Autumn Vibes Perfume. I don't, was this the one that I didn't really like? Yeah, I think this was the one that I didn't really like all that much. I think it was one that after it settles down for quite a while, I didn't mind it, but out of this one and the other replica one that I have in my collection, I much prefer that one I have. Which one is this? This one is springtime in a park. I much prefer like those more lighter scents, whereas this one I found was on the heavier side. It smells like quite woody and yeah. I, I'm not quite sure I love that. A few more samples. Drunk Elephant Virgin Marula Luxury Face Oil. If I'm picking between this or the Rosehip Oil from like Trilogy or my um, Hemp Beauty Oil, my Canacel Beauty Oil from Andalou Naturals, I would hands down go with the rosehip oil or the beauty oil from Andalou because I just feel like they work with my skin a lot better. Marula oil I've never really found does anything to my skin. Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. This is like the silicon one. Uh, no. <laughs> I'll always like accept samples of these and use the sample up but I wouldn't buy the full size. La Roche Posay Anthelios SPF 50 plus uh, sunscreen. Um, this was really lightweight, but I think I prefer the um, ultraviolet one. I would definitely accept samples of this one again and maybe even like a deluxe sample size to get a couple of days out of it. But this little three mil sample didn't really give me enough to figure out whether I liked the product or not. I would really like to try it again. The SkinCeuticals Silly Marin, Silly Marin CF uh, serum. This little formula sample lasted me forever. I got a trio of these from Influencer and I really like this product. I actually think that once I use up a couple more products in my skincare box, like the serums and stuff that I have in there, I am seriously considering bringing this into my skincare routine on an everyday basis. I just feel like this really helped keep my skin clear, um, really helped control my oil production and uh, really like brightened my skin. I really felt like I saw a difference with my skin using this product. The only thing that is like deterring me is the price because I think this one full size is like 200 or over 200 dollars i think it sits around like the 210 dollar mark so it's ridiculously expensive but i do really feel like i saw a difference with my skin when i was using this i would really like to to try the skin uh i think it's called the ferulic the ferulic cf or something like that um, people rave about that product as well. So I think this one is a very similar product to that. It's kind of like you use the uh, Ferulic or you use the Silly Marin. Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in Cake Shake. I love the gloss balms. I think they're one of my favorite lip gloss formulas. I'm currently panning another one in my Team Project pan. I think it's in the color Confetti. It's the clear one with like blue glitters in it. Yes, I use this one up in one of my project pans and I have like five others in my collection and I think I have a full size in my makeup kit that I'll probably rotate into my personal collection to just get some use out of it. I highly recommend gloss bombs. I know there's some people that don't love them but I am a believer. Mario Badescu whitening mask. Ah, no. I, I didn't see any change in my skin using that. Kiehl's Calendula Herbal Extract Toner. I'm not really a toner person. I don't see the point of toners if I'm honest. I don't really have 
a spot in my routine for toners. I just don't really use them. The Keisha and Co purifying clay mask. This is actually a, like a bag of clay mask in powder form. And you decanted some of this out into like a ramekin, mixed it with water, and then add it to your skin, wait for it to dry and then wash it off. So this little 100 gram bag lasted me forever. Um, I got a crap load of masks out of this 100 gram bag. So I do really like this delivery situation for a clay mask because I feel like it lasts you a lot longer when the product's dry um, and you actually like activate the product with water. So I would definitely be tempted to look more into this brand i'm not quite sure if they are still around because i got this i don't even remember how i got this product but i got it from i think a box i got it from a box i want to say maybe a maslow and co box but i feel like i haven't had it in my collection for that long because maslow and co would have been maybe like five or six years ago I'm sure I haven't had it in my collection for that long. A product that I have already repurchased is my Dermalogica Special Cleansing Gel. I just leave this 500 ml bottle in my shower. I do probably just half a pump to cleanse my face and my neck. I find a full pump is just far too much. And this does suds up, so you end up like with soap everywhere because a full pump is just too much. So I would, if you are going to get any of the Dermalogica ones with the pump, um, just be cautious of how much you're using and that way you're going to get more bang for your buck, more life out of the product. But this bottle lasts me about a year. So I think it's really good value. These bottles, I think uh, they might be like 70, 70 to $80. So definitely on the pricier side, but lasts you a lot longer. Dermalogica very, very often goes on sale with Adore Beauty. So just wait until Dermalogica is 20% uh, off and then you get it down around that like $60, $70 price range. Briogeo Be Gentle, Be Kind Conditioner. I was testing out a lot of Briogeo products last year because they were on my list of brands that I wanted to try last year. This was, I think this is the last Briogeo product that I have in my collection other than a few samples. Um, I don't know, I don't really get the hype with Briogeo. I don't really see any miracles with my hair, any changes with how it was like sitting or feeling. So I have moved on from trying Briogeo onto other brands because I don't know, it just didn't, didn't wow me. I did use up the Jamberry Nail Care Cuticle Oil. Um, actually, this was probably one of my favorite products from Jamberry. I think that this was a really great cuticle oil. In my lifetime, I've probably used maybe like three or four of these bottles because it was quite cheap and I just found it was actually a really good cuticle oil. My mum always got me to like constantly repurchase it for her because she flew through them as well. Um, I don't even know, I don't know what happened to Jamberry or what's going on with it anymore or where it is, whether it's still around. I, I don't know. The Project Lip Mask, this is the Prep the Pout. Um, I don't know how I feel about these lip masks that cover like your lips. I don't really feel like they do anything. I would much prefer to just use a like a lip balm type product uh, or like an overnight lip mask. I just feel like they do more than than these ones. I did use up this entire card of the Marc Jacobs Shameless Foundation. So in this, there was the um, Coconut Face Primer. Then there was the Shameless Foundation in Light, Medium and Tan. I used up all three on myself. I used the medium and the tan as a contour. And then obviously I used the light all over my face. I used the primer all over my face. I don't know whether you can get this shameless foundation anymore from Marc Jacobs. I have a feeling it may have been discontinued, but I am very proud of myself that I did manage to finally get one of these like foundation sample cards done and dusted. Uh, but even if it was available, I wouldn't, I wouldn't purchase it. I don't know. I feel like Marc Jacobs foundations just aren't for me. Them and I just don't really mix. Ordinary Glycolic Acid 7% Toning Solution. Uh, I This took me forever to get through. I have since purchased the Paula's Choice 
BHA something something lotion toner thing and I find that's really really effective so I don't think I really need a product like this in my collection anymore because I have that product from Paula's Choice. The Neostrata Glycolic Renewal Smoothing Cream this is a 10% AHA product. Um, I use this on well I used this on my skin in areas that I would get waxed or sugared to try and help with ingrown hairs. I just found this product on my skin, like on my face skin, like burnt like a mofo. I just found for some reason this particular product and normally my skin can kind of handle higher like AHAs, BHA, like higher percentages. But for some reason, this product like burnt like a mofo and I just couldn't handle it on my face skin. So I would just put it on areas that I found that I had like on my back, like acne patches or to try and help with ingrowns, different things like that. But yeah, if you want a really strong uh, AHA product, I recommend this brand, but just be warned, it is quite strong. You can get Neostrata from places like Chemist Warehouse. I think they're stocked at Priceline now, but you've been warned. Herbal Essence Tussling Mousse. I use this one up in my Team Project pan. Had this in my collection for a very long time and I'm very happy that I finally got it out of my collection. I am really trying to work through a lot of my hair care items uh, over the past couple of years. I really want to clean the slate when it comes to hair care items. For some reason, I've just managed to accrue so many different hair care bits and pieces, so many different hair care bits and pieces and samples and whatnot over the years. And it's just really gotten out of control. So I have really been trying to focus my attention on using up some products like this. Wouldn't repurchase this one. Again, this was another one that I found. You really need to be careful with how much you use. If you use too much, you just get that like really gross, sticky feeling in your hair. And I don't love that. Kester Black Non-Acetone Nail Polish Remover. I have another one of these in my collection that I'm currently working on. This is a great little nail polish. I do think I'm gonna keep this bottle though, because once I use up my other bottle of this nail polish remover, I think I'm just going to go to like a salon supply store or order online through a salon supply store and just get like a really big two or three liter bottle and just decant it down into these little bottles. That is going to be a much cheaper way for me to buy a nail polish remover and I can get it at a discount and whatnot, buy it in bulk. Got some more samples here. Actually, these are the last couple of samples. I've got two samples of the Dermalogica Clear Start Breakout Clearing Booster. Uh, I felt like these are, didn't really do anything. I did get a good couple of days out of both of these samples. This smelled so disgusting though. I liken this to the smell of uh, boot polish. I really didn't enjoy it. Then we also have the Laneige Water Bank Moisture Cream. I had two samples of these. Again, use this one up in my Team Project pan. Um, it's a nice light moisturizer. If you want something that is more hydrating, sinks in quicker, and it's not like super thick on the skin, maybe check this one out because it was nice and light, but still moisturizing. This is the Tatcha Kisu Lip Mask. I got this in a little like set from Tatcha, not Christmas just gone, but the Christmas before. Um, I managed to get through like one of my Laneige lip sleeping masks and I found this in my drawer got through this entire one. And then I was tossing up whether I would repurchase this one or go back to the Laneige. And by the time I got to the end of this, I decided that I prefer the Laneige. So I have since repurchased that one and I enjoyed this one, but I just think the Laneige is better. Bare Minerals Liquid Lipstick in the color Boss. I really like the Bare Minerals Liquid Lipstick formula. I think it's a great little formula. It is more like a comfortable matte on the lips. It's not super drying, super stripping. It doesn't set down super matte on your lips, but um, because of that, it is a lot more comfortable on the lips. I think it has a good range of colors. I'm not entirely sure though, whether they still make them or not. But this was a little sample that I got in a set. I got one of the liquid lipsticks and one of the lip glosses and I did manage to get this one used up. This is actually 
I believe the first ever liquid lipstick that I have used up. It is only a mini, but I'm still counting it because I feel like it's still a triumphant defeat on my part. Managed to get a eyeshadow primer used up. This is the KVD Shake Primer. I would 100% repurchase this one. I'm currently using up a different one in my Team Project pen. I think that one's gonna take me forever to get through as well. It is like a bi phase. It does go on completely clear. So if you do prefer a eyeshadow primer that has like pigment to it to block out any discoloration on your lids, this is not going to give that to you. If you prefer something clear that has grip to it, that is going to really like give you like true color payoff, then maybe check this one out. I do find sometimes with those uh, colored ones, like ones that are colored to your skin tone, sometimes they can uh, throw colors off a little bit, like they can disrupt the, the pigment payoff. Some eyeshadows I did find though, this one gripped on to them like quite intensely. So sometimes it did, make it a little bit more difficult to blend shadows out. But on the whole, generally, I didn't have that problem. It was only, I think, maybe like one or two eyeshadows that I had difficulty with uh, blending. But other than that, everything else was fine. The next one is the Charlotte Tilbury Cryo Recovery Eye Serum. I did cut this one open because this is one of those ones that has the metal applicator tip on it. And it got to the point where it was empty and I was like, I'm just out of curiosity. I wanna cut this open and see how much product is inside. And oh my God, there was so much product inside. I wanna say that I probably like completely filled one of these little sample jars full with what was left inside. So I have reserved it for when I go away. I'm gonna use that as my eye cream. I probably wanna say that I'll get maybe two weeks out of what was left in the bottom of this one. That's really frustrating and annoying, but on the flip side of that, I love this eye cream. <laughs> I really, really enjoy this eye cream and I am actually going to repurchase it once I use up what was left from this one and when I use up the eye cream sample that I'm currently working on, I may have like one or two other eye creams in my sample collection. So I'm gonna use up all of my eye cream samples and bits and pieces that I have around and then I'm gonna repurchase this one. I really liked it, I felt like it really gave me that cooling effect under my eyes. It really like moisturized that area without being like super heavy. I really enjoyed this product and I think it's a really great eye cream. Nakia Joy Velvet Finishing Powder. Again, this is another product that I used up in my Team Project pan. She's completely done. This is a loose powder and it comes in translucent. It does have a bit of like a, like a, vanilla -y scent to it and I really enjoy it. I really like this powder. I love the effect on the skin. It's quite reasonably priced as well. Nakia Joy Cosmetics always has sales like randomly throughout the year. So I definitely would pick this one up again. I am currently working on a pressed powder and I also have another loose powder in my collection. So I think that I Personally, would just like to maybe get rid of the other loose powder in my collection before repurchasing this one. But I definitely will repurchase this at some point in the future. I think it's a great powder, really great for oily skin as well. I do feel like it really helps control those oils throughout the day. And my last product, I just found this one came around in the bottom of the basket. I totally missed it. Um, is one of my Hourglass Confession lipsticks. This one is in the color You Are My. Now, by the end of this lipstick, I could 100% tell that it had changed formula and it had kind of gone off. Just based off the smell, it really started to smell like crayons, uh, but I was determined to get it finished um, and I managed to get it completely done and dusted in my project. And I'm really glad to have another one of these out of my collection. I do think that I am going to maybe comb through my hourglass collection and see if there's any others that are like on the verge that I can tell are kind of starting to change formula. I do find out of all of the lipsticks in my collection, these ones are probably the ones that turn the quickest. So I do really wanna make sure I'm getting my value for money out of my hourglass lipsticks and not letting them go off 
before I get a chance to get through them. Uh, these are like one of my favorite lipstick formulas, but I do really wish that they would just like maintain their formula integrity for just a little bit longer than they do. I will leave on the screen the total value of all of these empties. I do always calculate the total value of my empties because it always really interests me. Um, I imagine based off the amount of products that I have here, it's probably going to be quite high. Uh, but yes, if you are interested, I will leave that on the screen now. That is my huge mammoth empties. That's everything that I used up and finished for the first quarter of 2022. If you have tried any of these products, let me know all of your thoughts down in the comments. While you're down there, if you did enjoy this video, I hope you would give it a big thumbs up. If you are new around here and you haven't already, I hope you consider subscribing down below so you keep up to date on future empty videos, any of my other beauty related content and project panning content. That's it for this video, beautiful. I hope that you are having an absolutely fantastic day. I hope that you are staying safe, healthy, and looking after yourself. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye, beautiful.